The Youth Meeting of St. Philopatir Mercurios Coptic Orthodox Church, Guelph, Ontario, Canada presents The Story of St. Philopatir Mercurios St. Philopatir was the son of a Scythian officer in the Roman army. One day his father, Ieres, was hunting in the forest with his grandfather when they were attacked by a wild beast. The animal jumped on the grandfather, causing Yaris to faint. While Yaris was unconscious, he had a vision. He saw a brilliant light and heard a voice saying, Yaris, I am your god who loves you. I know that you have a good heart and that you hate the pagan idols. I want to inform you that your son, Philopatir, will become like a tree bearing good fruits. And because of him, I will bless you and your wife. Philopatir will be my witness and will defy all prejudice in my name. Shortly after, Yaris, his wife, and his son were baptized, and they were given new names. Yaris became Noah, his wife became Safina, and Philopatir became Mercurios. After the death of Noah, the pagan Roman emperor Decius chose Mercurios to replace his father. Described as very strong and highly courageous, he managed to earn the respect of his fellow soldiers. When the barbers attacked Rome, Decius went out to fight them. But when he saw how many they were, he became afraid. Mercurios then came to him and told him, Do not be afraid, because God will destroy our enemies and will bring us victory. After several days of fighting, the Archangel Michael appeared to Mercurios holding a shining sword. He said, Mercurios, servant of Jesus Christ, don't be afraid. Take this sword from my hand and fight the barbers with it. Don't forget your God when you come back victoriously. I am Michael the Archangel, whom God sent to inform you that you should suffer for the Lord's name. I shall be with you and support you until you complete your testimony. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ will be glorified in you. The saint took the sword from the Archangel, hence the name Abu Safin, the holder of two swords, a military sword and a divine sword. He conquered the barbers, feeling the assurance of divine strength. When Decius heard the news about the triumphant victory, he appointed Mercurios prince. Nonetheless, in 249, Decius began his persecution of Christians, compelling everyone to offer sacrifices to his pagan gods. The archangel Michael appeared to Mercurios and told him to remember God and not be fearful of the persecution. The saint was encouraged and spent the whole night praying fervently and confessing his weakness to God. The day after, the emperor sent for Mercurios. He told him, Dear Mercurios, let us go offer incense to the gods who helped us attain victory in the war. Mercurios answered with courage, Your Majesty, the victory was not due to dumb idols made by human hands. It was accomplished by the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who sent his archangel to give me a sword and strengthen me. I cannot deny my god and worship statues. The emperor was infuriated and tried to persuade him to no avail. Mercurius's faith was unshaken. He stripped him of his ranks and ordered him to be thrown in jail. That did not stop the saint from praying and singing hymns in prison. During the night, Michael the Archangel appeared to him and told him, Do not be afraid of the tortures. Confess your faith in Jesus publicly because he is the only one able to save you. After Decius tried many different tortures without success, he decided to have him beheaded. Mercurios lifted up his arms and prayed fervently, asking the Lord to accept him in paradise. Then suddenly, he saw Jesus Christ in the glorified vision, surrounded by many angels, saying, My chosen son, Mercurios, come to your eternal rest with the saints. Your prayers have risen up to me like the aroma of good-smelling incense. Miracles will be performed in any church bearing your name, and I will save those who ask me through your intercession. Whoever writes or reads the story of your life will have their names written in the Book of Life. Mercurios was so happy that he ran to his executioners, begging them to carry out the king's orders immediately. Then he knelt down and said, Lord, do not count this sin against them. Mercurios was beheaded on the 4th of December, 250. He was only 25 years old.